Hello and good morning. Thank you for tuning in to Facebook Live Friday morning, RoseWardStampersDelight.com. Hop on, say hi, let me know where you're watching from. I know this is a different time. Still playing with the times because I only have two weeks left of working full time. So I will be changing Friday mornings to either 8 or 9 a.m. I kept, I thought it was going to be 8, but I'll tell you honestly, this morning I was like, oh, I should do it at 9 a.m. So stay tuned for that. Good morning, Win Ann. You are the first one on, well, the first one that left a comment. And we are going to get started. Hey, Denise. Hey, Peggy. All right. Everybody's up bright and early with me this morning. That's good. Hey, Julie. Okay, so first thing, and I'm just going to show you, you can only see part of it. I'm wearing my Dear Santa, All I Want for Christmas is Stamp sweatshirt. I know a few of you out there already ordered one. I just want to remind you, you want to order it now to have it in time to wear for the holidays. Good morning, everybody. Oh my goodness, look how many people are on. You're watching from work. Well, I'm off today. Uh, that's how I got, you know, that's why I changed the time. I'm on vacation today vacation day today and only a few more weeks left to work uh, full time all right so we are gonna get started don't forget to share my videos tell all your friends because I'm gonna be doing this full time in the, in within two weeks okay so grab your coffee grab your tea I got my glitter mug today and I don't know if you can see this but it is really sparkly it also comes in silver and I was thinking the other night what great Team gifts thieves would make when people advance to like silver, silver, elite, gold. Okay, I'm going to put that back here so I don't spill it. And let's get started. Okay, so if you'd like to place an order with me, you're going to use this host code for November. You love the mug, Yvette? I do too. It's so pretty. This is the host code for November. You go to stampersdelight.com. Use that host code if it's less than $150. For the mug and other fun apparel, go to stampersdelightshop.com. Okay, with that said, I posted the other day. You know, you all see me use my soft hand towel, which is a Stampin' Queen towel, also on that site. I have another giveaway. So I'm going to give this one away on Thanksgiving morning. I'm going to pull a random name. In order to get that, you just have to leave a comment on one of my social media pages, either my Facebook page, the Stampers Delight Shop Facebook page, Instagram, TikTok, where, wherever you want to. However, the more times you leave, uh, the more me social media places that you, I'm just fixing this because it looked like my internet was a little slow. The more places that you leave a comment, the more chances to win. What I'd especially like you to do is go to Stampers Delight Shop Facebook page. Tell me what you'd like to see in that apparel shop. We'd love to know what you would like. Okay. The next thing I have to tell you about, everything will be in the description, is for my December online class. I'm going back to the annual catalog because by the time it gets out, it will be too late for Christmas. So I'm going to do um, on page 52, Inspiring Thoughts Bundle. I would love this to do a class with because of all the great uh, sentiments. Okay, so this is going to be my December class. You have to sign up by December 10th. All the information will be in the description later. Okay. Let's see what else I have. Oh, let me just show you a couple of cards that we have. I have a, got a couple more sympathy cards. Thank you, everyone, for your thoughts and prayers. This is from Yvette. Thank you, Yvette. I see that you're on there. You just ordered that set. Oh, great. This is from my friend Cookie. I know she's not on social media, so thank you, Cookie. Another sympathy card. I also received my first Thanksgiving card. This is from teammate Stacy. And with that, she also sent my first Christmas card. So she's way ahead of the game. So thank you for that, Stacy. Okay. Let's see, what's up next? I think that's it. Okay, so we all know that the new mini catalog is coming out. As a demonstrator, I already have that. And the celebration, they start on January 4th. 
when I did my unboxing, I asked what you wanted to see today. Um, did you want to see more Christmas from the mini catalog or new? And it was outvoted. Oh my gosh, you couldn't believe it for the new catalog. So that's what I'm going to show today, but I'm going to show you the same card in some Christmas sets. So what I chose for today, and I'll tell you why, this is a double set, and this is the Blessings of Home. This is in the new mini, and then, of course, you got the Honey Bee Home. And the reason I chose that, okay, this is the Heart and Homes collection, and that's going to be on page 58 of the new catalog. So today, or this morning, and I'm still trying to get my lights here a little better, um, this is what I'm going to be using today, the Blessings of Home. And then Monday night on YouTube Live, I'm going to do the second part with Honey Bee. Okay? So remember, today this one, Monday night at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on YouTube, I'll do the Honey Bee Home. All right. I think, I think we covered everything, except for the fact that you want to remember joining right now, Stampin' Up. Excuse me, i got to sneeze. <coughs> Um, joining Stampin' Up, you can get $125 of product for $75. So I'd love to have you on my team. Just go to stampersdelight.com and click on Join the Fun or contact me. And I'd like to welcome Louise, who signed up last night. So welcome, Louise. All right, let's get started. So I'm going to show you a couple samples first with the um, Blessings of home and these you saw on my unboxing if you watched that okay so this was one I made on on stage for on stage here's the other one and then here's the third one and I'm just gonna move something real quick I want to see if I can make this a little bit lighter here it just looks like it's a little dark to me so we'll see if that's any better. Switching my lights around here. Doesn't seem like it. Oh, yeah, I think that's a little better. Okay, so here's the other sample that I did. Those were for on stage. Want to see what I did after that? And still shots will be on my blog, stampersdelight.com. So here's another one that I did. Now you can see this one. I used the doilies, the colored doilies that are still a lot of shadow here. So we use, it's darker towards the left. Yeah, I know. I'm, I just moved that. Hopefully that will be better. Okay. Once I get my permanent set up in the other corner, I think it'll be a lot better. That's why I keep moving it because I have to take it down when I do a class. So I think, Yvette, just tell me. I think it's better now, right? Let me just, so, I want to see something. Yeah, that's, okay. Anyway, so we have the doilies here. And I'm going to bring it up a little closer, but when I bring it up closer, it does come out a little darker. So maybe down here is better. So this is the other uh, card that I did. Okay. All right. Now, the fun fold for today is a card in a card. And this is the one that I did with the Blessings of Home. Okay, I'm going to bring it up a little bit. I know it's dark when I bring it up, but I want you to really see that. Okay, and the card in a card, you can see I used the um, Hive embossing folder. Now, some of these things you can get now, so you want to stock up on the things you can get now. The bees, trinkets you can get now, the little flowers, and you see those you can get now. And here's the card in a card. Look at that. What do you think? Isn't that cute? And of course, I use the Wink Estella. So definitely check out the, the um, catalogs we have now where you can get these items while you're waiting for the other ones to go live. Okay, so this is a card in a card, which I am going to show you how to do today. And don't worry about the measurements. Everything will be on the description afterwards. Okay, before I show you how to make that card. I want to show you a couple more samples. And this one is done with the 
um, stars, stars are shining. That is on page 65 of the holiday catalog. And this one is stars are shining. It's got the matching punch. You love my fun folds. Thank you, Jean. So let's take a look at what I did. Same card with that stamp set. So here it is, Twinkle Twinkle Christmas Star. And you can see I punched out the stars in cardstock, our uh, ombre glitter paper, and our silver foil paper. Still a little dark here, but okay, let's. And these, these are the uh, epoxies, um, these silver and clear epoxies. And I love these. I'm going to bring it up. I know you can't see it too. Oh, yeah, yeah now you can see it. See this right here? To me, they look just like stars. Okay. And I use the star crossed embossing folder here. And our doily that's in the annual catalog. And there it is. Good morning, Deborah. Hi, Joyce. Oh, you love this card? Thank you. You're welcome, Lisa. So again, a card and a card. So uh, this sample is with stars are, st stars are shining. Oh boy, I need a sip of coffee. So this set you can get now. Okay. The next sample I'm going to show you before we get started is also on <clears throat> page 65 of the mini catalog. And this one is with the Merry Snowflakes. I love this set and I love the stitch snowflakes. So again, let me bring it up so you can see it. I promise to get the lights all straightened out at some point. Okay, so this one again is with the Merry Snowflakes bundle. And you can see there's the dies and the stamp set. So that's on page 65. And there you have that. I had to use that swirly. First, I used this the um, snowflake, and then I was like, no, I got to use the swirly. I love the swirly. So there it is, a card and a card using the Merry Snowflakes. Okay, so we are going to get started now with the Blessings of Home and that card. I have no idea how it's going to come out. I just cut some of the card stock out, so... I can show you. All right, so the first thing you're gonna start with, oh, let me just tell you something. Can you see this? This is um, a silicone mat. So, you know we have our silicone mats, which I use all the time for glue and everything. This one is actually a larger one that I got on Amazon and it's transparent. And the reason I did this was so that I could try to keep, because you can see my background here is getting kind of messy. So I'm using this mat here. Plus I notice it doesn't make everything move. So that's pretty cool. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to use a piece of five and a half by eight or eight, a half a sheet of cardstock. We are going to go ahead and score that in half. I'm going to do this a little bit different than this one. I'll keep this one right here so you can see it because I used the hive embossing folder there, which I'm not going to use on this one. The next thing you're going to do is for the inside piece, which is this piece, I already cut it. That is three and three quarters by seven and a half. Okay, so technically everybody says that you're supposed to use the larger, like, let me show you my directions. Five and a half by eight, three and three quarters by seven. Somebody told me that you're supposed to say seven and a half by three and three quarters. The higher number goes first. I don't know. I'm not a mathematician. We all know that. Okay, so three and three quarters by seven and a half. And we're just going to fold that right in half. And you can always trim this if you need to, or you can score it. But it's a small piece. I'm just going to score it. Okay, so here's our two cards. Now, for the inside of this piece, you need a 4x4 four four piece. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm just showing you the layers, and then we'll get stamping. I'm going to take this piece right here. 
Oh, thank you, Denise. I'm gonna go four by four. Oh, look at that! It already I already cut it. Didn't even remember that. All right, so that would be on your inside. Oh, this has to be smaller. What am I saying? Four by four. The inside layer has to be three and a half by three and a half. So forget that. That's why I said don't go by the instructions. I will put the exact measurements on later. So that's three and a half by three and a half. This is three, three and three quarters. So of course it's got to be smaller. I'm not awake yet. Okay. So this one, of course, is going to go right here. And that's what gives you your card in a card. That's it. <laughs> that is it. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is make it a little bit different. I'm going to take a piece of white. I'm going to take that designer series paper. Now the, the white is four by five and a quarter. And I'm just layering it up. And then the designer series paper is three and three quarters by five. So you can see that it's just layering up. So let's just layer that. And I do this all together. Oop. Well, that wasn't good. My thing just slid here. Let me just grab another one, I think. Yeah, all right. That's being that's being a little pill. So we're just gonna go with Tombow since Tombow's right on the table here. Yes, I know you never see me use Tombow except for small spaces, but you're gonna see it today because my stamp and seal just went kaputs on me, and I don't feel like walking across the room and changing it. Okay, so we are gonna layer that right there. Now what I'm gonna bring in is my layering circle dies. And I wish these were numbered, but anyway, these are all layered and you can really use whatever side, size you want. So the sizes I used, and I honestly don't know what they are, but let's just take a look. Let's put them together so I can tell you. So there we go, there we go. There we go, putting them all in there so I can tell you. If you have them all layered, these are, <laughs> what a mess, okay. These are one, two, three, four. Okay, so the number three and four, how's that? I'm gonna number these. I did it with other ones and it really does work. So number three and four. Okay, so number three, the larger one, is gonna go right here. And I am going to cut that hole out. So let's bring in my die cutting machine. And I am going to go ahead and cut that. Oh my gosh, it's so nice not having to rush. And if you have to go to work, I apologize. <laughs> Hi, Kathleen. Okay, I'm doing both layers. So I'm going to go back and forth a couple of times so it cuts through both layers. All right, just put this over here. I'm loving this new table where I can stand. I can get things closer. Okay, so there's that. Now this piece, of course, is glued together. I can use that for a tag or something. All right, so the other piece has to go right on here. And I could have done all three of them together, but Sometimes that slides. So now I'm going to just glue. If you're all right with doing all three layers together, go ahead. Okay, that should work. I'm going to actually bring in some paper here so I don't get that all messy. I'm going to layer that back on here. And bring that back in. And again, the... Uh, you can do all three layers together if you want. But that fits nicely back in there. And I'm just going to cut it. Hey, 
Hey, Pam, I'm glad you could catch me live, too. Yes, definitely share my videos. Sorry if that popped. And guess what I did? I forgot to open it up. When you cut it, when you cut it, make sure you leave it opened. I closed it, so it kind of went through, but you're not going to see that. So this didn't go through all the way, but let's just... Okay, so there's the base. So, again, when you cut that third piece, make sure you have your paper open. You see how I got a dent here? But it'll work. It'll still work. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is I am going to bring in this piece. And I'm going to layer that. Now, this one should be four by four. That's going to layer onto my little card there. Okay. Oh, my God. I can't believe I'm using Tombow this much. You know you don't see me use a lot of Tombow. It's not that I don't like it. It's just that I'm a messy Tombow user. So this piece of white is four by four. I'm going to layer right in there. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and stamp the inside first. And for this one, I'm going to use, this, I think I'll make this a thank you card. And for that, I'm going to use, let's see, you're a real blessing to everyone around you. What's the thank you say? Thank you for inspiring me. Yep, we'll use that. I'm going to go ahead and ink that up. I'm going to take this stamp. This is my Misty Moonlight. I'm just going to put that right there. Go over here for a minute. And go ahead and glue that down. So this card is going to be all blue and white. Okay, so that's there. Now I'm going to bring this base in, and what happens is this goes right inside here, just like that, okay? Now inside here, I'm going to use one of those doilies, and of course, they're different colors. There's three colors. I think my other color is on the other side. Okay, so we got the cinnamon, we got the misty moonlight, and we got basic gray. But because this is already a lot of blue, I'm going to use the white. I think. Maybe not. Let me see. Which one do I want to use? Ah, I'm going to do blue. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab another piece of cardstock. Remember, I haven't done this one. This one is card on the fly here. I am going to change this up a little bit, and I'm going to cut another piece of white. And I'm going to do three and a half by three and a half, and you'll see why in a minute. I'll be busier than ever when I'm fully retired. I don't know how I could possibly get any busier. And the reason I'm doing this is because I want to use this blue, but I want it to show up. Okay, so I am going to go ahead and... And, of course, you could put it through the embossing folder if you want. I'm not going to. You saw the one with the embossing folder. So, again, you want to grab the things that you can grab now while you're waiting for this. Okay. Okay. There, that makes it brighter. A lot of layering, but so much fun. Okay, and that's going to look just like that. Okay, that's going to go through there. And the nice thing about using the Tombow for this is you can get that. You can slide it around and get it where you want it. So I'm going to put it right here, make sure it's straight. All right, so let's just see. I got that indentation there, but you're not going to see it. Okay. So I'm going to lay this right here. Again, I'm going to close it, make sure I got it exactly where I want it. And this might have to come up a little bit. So I guess the Tombow was a good idea, huh? Okay. We're just going to move that around. 
Okay, so there's my card in a card. Hey, Angie, my card in a card. And now we're gonna decorate the front. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring in some of that ombre paper. This is pretty dark, what's left. But it'll work. Okay, so let me move this out of the way. Bring that die cutting machine back in. And let me grab my dies. Okay, so I'm going to pull out the dies here. And I want all these little pieces. Okay. A lot of little pieces, but that's what I want. Oop. Stick those on there. And the nice thing is I can do this all at once, so I don't have to use all the pieces. One was still... Okay, but... I can do it all at once. So this is, let me just move it this way. I'm gonna cut all these out at one time and then decide how I'm gonna use them. And the nice thing is I don't care if they slide a little bit because there's no stamped images. You just wanna be careful they don't slide on top of each other and bend each other, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead with that. Grab my cutting, okay. And I'm gonna wing that, wing it. I'm gonna roll that through. I will tell you, this is a thicker paper. You definitely wanna go up and down a few times. And one more for good luck. You know I'm not done yet, but you're really liking this card. Well, thank you. Okay, we're going to move that to the side. And hopefully they all cut out. You could also use the um, adhesive sheets if you wanted to. So that you, can, you don't have to glue these. Okay, there's one. I know a lot of times I have this all done already, but it's so cool that I have time to show you every step. And if you're just tuning in, you can watch the replay here on Facebook or on YouTube when I upload it there. We're going to go ahead and pull all those off. more. Number one tool. This is my number one tool. My take your pick tool. I cannot live without it. You always forget your adhesive sheets. I do a lot of times too. Hopefully now that I'm getting my room uh, organized, I won't. But sometimes when I'm doing cards on the fly, I forget them. But Okay, now I'm going to grab all these dies and make sure I put them back. Because I do have a tendency to lose things on this table. Okay. I'm going to bring this back in. Poke some of those little holes out here. Some of these have flowers. Okay. And let's just make sure. Yeah, these fell out pretty good. I don't even need my wire brush. And if they didn't, it's okay too. Okay. All right, let's go with that for a minute. Okay. Now I'm going to arrange them around the circle. You could do it on one side or all the way around. I actually like to do it all the way around. Let's see if I have enough to do that. So what I'm doing now is, again, I'm using the Tombow. So that this actually this actually worked out better because I would have had to use Tombow for this anyway. So it's all good. It's all good. 
Okay, so let me start with this. And then I'm going to do this one. Yeah, so it's kind of scary going, uh, retiring and doing this full-time. I mean, I absolutely love doing this. Okay, but this is going to be my full-time job. So definitely, definitely start sharing my videos. <laughs> okay, just going to glue that down there. Let's see, this one's going to come around here. You're late to the party, Deb. That's okay. This seems to be a very good time. I was worried after so many years of changing it to 8 o'clock. Okay, I'm just going to glue that one around there. One more here. Are you loving the card yet? Okay. And I got these little pieces, so I can put one more right there. Oh, I'll use this one with a little flower. Okay. Yeah, it's so nice not having to look at the clock to see if I have to stop my video. Okay. So there, we have that all the way around. Bring it up here so you can see it. All right, well, let's put those over here for now. All right, so for the center piece, I'm going to grab this piece of cardstock. I am going to grab this um, stamp. I'm going to do it in, I mean, let me, let me try this first. Okay, so. All right, and I'm going to cut this out. Cut it out with that. Now, this is the smaller circle. Okay, this is what it looks like cut out with the dies that come with it. I'm still not sure. I may, I may use that. Let me just flip around here and cut this out in a circle. I'm not going to bring the machine over. Because I think I want this all as a blue and white. But we'll see. Okay, so this one is going to go right in the center here. What do you think? You think I should color it? I like it the way it looks like this. So let me bring in that one. This is the colored one, which is beautiful. But I kind of like this one, too. Okay, I'm not sure. See, I already forgot, Yvette. What do you mean, if I, if I remembered? <laughs> All right, let me grab some dimensionals. And here's something, a quick tip for you. Gorgeous as it is, I think so too. What I do with a lot of my um, designer series paper that's retired is I put my cases, I put them on my cases so that they um, look a little nicer when I have them stacked up. And then I usually have a, a dyno uh, label here saying what they are. And I keep all my dimensionals in here. So let me grab some of those. Winkostella. Oh, definitely. Yeah, we'll put the Winkostella on it. Okay, so I'm not done, though. There's more to it. Okay, so I'm going to take this off, and I'm going to put some dimensionals here. Yeah, I kind of like... It's almost like the black and white thing, right? But it's the blue and white. And again, you can see the colored one there. Okay, so I am going to place this right about there. Let's see. Whoop, down a little bit. Actually, I can just do it this way. I'm going to put that right in here so you can still see the blue. Let me grab some Winkostella. Which, of course, I can't find. I thought I had my Winkostella over here already. It's probably buried. Hmm. Okay, where's my Winkostella? Okay, pretend I put Winkostella on it until I find it. I'm not over there. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in some of these new iridescent gems. Okay. And I'm going to add those to the front. So I'm going to go ahead and put a 
couple of, now remember there's three sizes here. So I'm gonna use all three sizes and just go right around it. Now it may look like you can't see these, but you will be able to very shortly. So let me bring that up. I think I need another little one right here. Okay, let me bring that up so you can see it. See how that shimmers? 